Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a very different video. I've never filmed this before. Um, it is my current non-beauty like lifestyle favorites, but they're really, really random and they're really crazy. <laughs> but um, you know, this is stuff that I've just been loving lately that really wouldn't fit into a regular monthly beauty favorites video. And I figured let me just like dedicate its own video to it because there might be stuff in here that you guys are interested in that, you know, it, it might help somebody. Um, and if you happen to like this, let me know if you want me to do this, maybe not every month, but maybe, you know, every couple months, just when I've accumulated like random favorites that, like I said, don't fit into a normal uh, beauty favorites video that I film monthly. So I'm going to get started. I, I really do have a random array of things. Um, the first thing I'm going to start with is this is a uh, home or room diffuser. This is by the brand Spa Room. Um, I actually got this at Bed Bath & Beyond, believe it or not. Um, I've been wanting a home diffuser for a while and you know when you look online they're kind of pricey and I just just wanted something just for my bedroom where I could really use it at night just to kind of relax. Um, so I picked this up at Bed Bath & Beyond. It really wasn't that expensive. Um, if I can find it I will link it below but um, if not just Google Spa Room. Um, they had it kind of on a little you know stand in the middle of the store. Um, and it came, well it didn't come with this, but I bought a pack of three essential oils. Um, this is my favorite one. This is the lavender, which again, it's for relaxing, for kind of like de-stressing, which I really like to use at night. Um, you just kind of put a couple drops in here and then you turn this button on. It actually is battery operated. Um, when you turn it on, it, it turns different colors and it just kind of diffuses the oils from here. So really love this and it's small enough that you can kind of just keep it right next to your bed or wherever you want it. Um, so these are my first two you know, favorites. I've really gotten into oils lately. Um, like I said, a lot of my friends are really into it, so I just kind of got into it and it's really relaxing, it's really enjoyable. So that is that. The second favorite is so random. I picked this up at Bed, uh, not Bed, Bed, at a Bath and Body Works. It, it is an owl soap holder. So you basically put your soap in here um, and it is the cutest thing. If you guys know me, you know I love elephants and owls. They're like my favorite. Um, so cute, so adorable. Um, this, um, it's kind of like a bronzy color. It actually matches in my bathroom perfectly because my bathroom is more earth tones, like, you know, um, you know, tan and gray and, and a little bit of blue and, and this just goes perfectly. So I love this. <laughs> And I know I just got this not that long ago, so if you go there, I know they will have this. Um, so pick it up. Then the next random favorite is a mouthwash. This is by the brand Closest, and it is actually an alcohol-free um, oral health rinse, and they, they um, it's non-irritating for sensitive mouths. And I absolutely love this. I have really sensitive teeth lately, um, probably just from bleaching them, you know, like at home. Um, and sometimes like they're really sensitive and this is the best mouthwash I have ever ever tried. Like I said, it has no alcohol in it, it has really nothing um, bad in it. It doesn't, it doesn't taste offensive or anything. You could really just rinse your mouth out. Um, this has been known to like if you have like a sore in your mouth um, or whatever or if, like I said, if you have really sensitive teeth, it could really kind of like heal it. Um, not that it's, it, I mean it just must have some sort of you know medicinal properties in it, but the only place I can actually find this is at Walgreens. Um, and they do come, this is like the, the regular size. They have the mint, which is what I have, and then they have like an unflavored one, which I really don't think I would try. Um, but like I said, if you have really sensitive teeth or if you have any kind of teeth or mouth issues, I would highly recommend this because it is, um, and it's really good too at like freshening your breath. Um, I just use it just to kind of keep my, my teeth and my gums healthy. Um, but I really recommend this, like I said, if you are, I can't use like the Listerine or the Scopes or anything like that. I really don't even think that they're really healthy for you because of all the, the alcohol and like the flavorings and colorings that are in it. Um, but this really doesn't have anything bad in it, honestly. Um, so I would recommend picking this up, Google it. Um, like I said, I know Walgreens sells it. That's where I'm able to get mine. And usually they'll, they'll have like it on sale or whatever, but this is it. Um, I highly love it and it's also good for like neutralizing um it says it's scientifically formulated to kill 99.9% .9 of the germs for a noticeably cleaner and fresher mouth um because it, it's made with chloristan I guess that's what why it's called that um but for me I also find it to be really freshening of my breath you know even if I um just rinse it out real fast it really does freshen it it does neutralize if you eat something that you know you're gonna taste for a couple days, um, TMI, but this really helps with that as well. So 
highly recommend that. Um, I have a bunch of food items that I want to show you, but I want to show you um, these two first. These are for your pets, um, for your dogs. Um, as you guys know, I have a dog. I have a little Morky named Spike, who is crazy. He thinks he's 150 pounds. He's the best watchdog you could ever ask for. The cutest, sweetest little little baby. He is my baby, my son, um, my little fur baby. So um, because of that, I like to keep him healthy and use things on him that are good for him. So the first thing is a shampoo. This is by the brand Chi, which you guys will know makes hair products for humans. Um, and they came out with these shampoos and it's called Chi for Dogs. This is an oatmeal shampoo and it is sulfate and paraben free. It's made in the USA. It is specially formulated, you know, to work with the pH for your dog's um, skin. It's super gentle. Um, reading this, it has like nothing really bad in it at all. I mean, it has some fragrance in it because it, it smells like the Chi products that, like you would use, um, but it's so good. I mean, he smells amazing. Um, Again, it doesn't have, you read in here, it doesn't have any parabens, no sulfates, no propylene glycol, nothing in it um, that would be harmful or irritating to your your dog because, you know, our skin is the biggest organ and for a dog, that's really what they have, you know? Um, and their bodies work a little bit differently than ours. So um, you can get this at PetSmart. Um, that's where I got mine. I don't know if Petco sells it um, because I picked it up and like I said, it smells so good. I gave him a bath last night and he just smells like a little sexy man, I tell him. So, you know, if you want your dog to smell good and feel good, you know, I, but like I said, I really like this because it doesn't have anything bad in it. It doesn't irritate him. Um, he has severe allergies. That's one of the next things I'm gonna show you, like severe allergies. He must be allergic to the grass or the pollen or something outside because he, his paws, he will lick them raw. So I constantly have to wipe him down um, when he comes in from outside. And, I'm, you know, he does have to sometimes wear a cone because he will just lick incessantly but the next thing I'm going to sh tell you has helped him tremendously um this is by the brand well and good which is actually a petco brand um it's called allergy aid for dogs and it's support for dogs with seasonal allergies and it has the reason why this is so good is because one of the main ingredients in it is um quercetin which is a natural um organic allergy um remedy that you know even humans can take and, and dogs can take it but it also has you know grapeseed extract in it it has um biotin in it it has omega-3s in it it has all of these you know even probiotics are in here um it has so many beneficial you know ingredients for it but like i said one of the main ingredients which is quercetin which is a natural you know allergy relief you know i you know, people say give your dog benadryl benadryl does not work on my dog at all and it's not really you know i don't want to give him you know, medicine like that, but it, it doesn't even work on him anyway. Even like the prescription strength Benadryl you get from the vet doesn't work. So I found this and you know, I did a lot of research and this is the best thing. I actually, it, I know the serving size I think is, it's only for his weight. He's only supposed to get one tablet. Um, I give him two. I don't care. I give him one in the morning and one at night and it's tremendously helped him. I mean, I'm not going to say it completely wipes away his allergies, but I will say that it helps him to where he's not constantly living in a cone where he's not just constantly licking his paws. He does, you know, if he goes outside and I don't wipe his paws or something happens, you know, he is, of course, he's going to lick them because the, the allergen is on him. So I try to like wipe him down, you know, a couple times a day. But if you have an, a dog that has allergies that are, you know, moderate to severe, I would definitely say check this out because it, it really helps. And, and like I said, it's natural. There's no nothing in here that is going to, you know, hurt him or there's nothing in here that's really going to, um, you know, be harmful to him. It's not, you know, fake products. So I highly recommend this. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about these two products for my dog. So that is that. And the next things I'm going to talk about are food, which um, I think we all like food, right? I think we all like to eat. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is a dressing. If you guys watch my What I Eat in a Day, I was like freaking out because my favorite dressing, which is by Cindy's Kitchen, the creamy Italian, I could not find it anywhere. Um, none of my grocery stores had it. I always got it at Whole Foods. Whole Foods didn't have it for the longest time. Well, lo and behold, I went to Whole Foods and they restocked it finally after like a couple months of not having it. Um, the absolute best dressing I have ever had in my life I use it every single day on my salad I have for dinner. Um, I love to change up my salads. I, 
have a lot of different things in it. Um, one of my favorite ones is I like to make some tuna fish, um, put that on, put some shredded cheese on it, and then use this, and it's just so good. I mean, I put everything in my salad, but this dressing will go with anything. It will go with just a regular, you know, salad without any type of, you know, toppings on it. Um, like I said, you can use grilled chicken. You can use really anything. Um, I like to just mix it up and this is my favorite. It tastes so good. So I'm so happy that I got it. You can see I've used a tremendous amount, um, but I do have another one of it. I bought, I buy two at a time. So, and they really last. This doesn't expire till 224.17, which is good. And you know, non-GMO, all that good stuff. You can Google it, but if you want to find, uh, you can go to like Cindy's Kitchen website to find out where else you can find it. But for me, I can only find it in Whole Foods. So that is my favorite dressing. Then the next thing is this um, couscous mix with Parmesan. This is by the brand Near East. You can literally find this anywhere. Um, you can get them at like your local grocery store. Sometimes they'll have them on sale for like two for five. Um, any place sells this. Um, it's not hard to find. It's like in the rice aisle. Um, and basically it's couscous. I love couscous. Um, even though it's not gluten free, I still do love it. Um, and this one I like because it has like the flavorings in it already. Um, I just cook it up on the stove, it takes like five minutes to make. And this is great to have, you know, as a side dish um, with my salad. You know, if I want something a little bit more filling um, or if you are making, you know, a, a dinner, no matter what, what you eat, this is a great side dish for it. Um, for me, I don't really like to eat pasta, you guys know. So um, I can't really recommend it with that, but anything you know they have different um you know recipes on the back here that you can make you know with garden couscous i love to make um i take plain couscous and i will make it with um feta cheese and olives you know like the greek olives and some artichokes um and you just kind of put like a little bit of olive oil and red wine vinegar and mix it together you can put peppers in it whatever you want you can mix it in that's what i love that's what i use like with my plain couscous but again this is the parmesan one and i like to just use it as a side dish with any type of meal so that is that. The next couple things are little snacks that um, I think we all love <laughs> to eat. Um, this is again by Whole Foods. This is the 365 organic brand. This is the tortilla strips and it's in the yellow corn, um, which is good for me. And I will show you what is so amazing about these is they are li literally strips. That one's broken. So let me get a better one. They are strips. So when you are eating your dip, whether it's salsa, you know, dip, whatever it is, these are just tremendously you know easier to to dip with and you know who doesn't want who doesn't like chips and salsa who doesn't like um i love the um spinach and artichoke dip you get it at costco um i love that you know if you heat it up it's just it's so good so i love to use you know eat that with chips and sometimes you have like the big chips and you have to break it up or whatever like first world problems i know but these are like my solution to it, it is basically tortilla strips so love them and i love that it's yellow corn it's not made with um flour or anything so it is this is actually gluten-free so this is so yummy my favorite then that is that and then my second favorite chip type thing is the kettle brand um dill pickle chips literally potato chips that taste like pickles um, if you guys, again, if you know me, I love pickles. I love anything with pickles. I will just eat pickles as a snack. Um, my favorite is the Trader Joe's dill pickle popcorn. Oh my God, that is so good. I don't have it in the house. Um, I need to pick it up. But um, I was in the grocery store. I found, I saw this just sitting there. And again, it is the dill pickle potato chips. They are just out of this world. And they are actually um, little ridges. They are so good. Oh my God. They literally smell like pickles and they taste so good. So. I'm not really like a potato chip person, but when I saw dill pickle flavor, I was all about that. So, and again, they're non-GMO project verified. Um, I love this brand, kettle chips. So really, really good, really healthy. Then the last thing to talk about, my last favorite snack is by Snack Factory. These are pretzel chips. These are my absolute favorite. These are peanut butter crunch, which are basically uh, flat pretzels dipped in peanut butter and drizzled with chocolate. I don't care if these aren't good for you. They are so good. When you have a sweet tooth and you're craving something for me, I love like peanut butter and chocolate, like peanut butter cups. They are my absolute favorite. So these are just so good. And I like this it comes in a really sealable bag. Um, I should pick this up at Target. These are really hard to find. My regular grocery stores do not have them. When I um, first moved here, I couldn't find them anywhere. So I, um, when I saw them at Target, I freaked out and bought like two bags. But um, these are so good. Um, 
if you like pretzels, if you like peanut butter, if you like chocolate, if you like all of those good things, you're going to love this. So check out your Target, check out your grocery store, maybe they have it. Um, I know the, prep, the Snack Factory brand is in a lot of places, but this specific flavor is really hard to find. So that is that, that is my favorite snacks over there. So this is basically a very random video, but I had to share it with you guys because it's definitely, like I said, just random products that I've been really loving that really do serve a good purpose, but wouldn't fit into like a regular video. So like I said, if you want to see more of these types of videos, like I said, maybe not every month, but every couple months, every other month, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below what some of your random favorites are because I always love hearing about it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.